Hi there, welcome to our video series on using WebEx Connect for banking institutions. My name is Paula Goldrich. I'm the product marketing leader for WebEx CPASS Solutions, and I'm joined by David Creasy Benjamin, DCB, our future messaging evangelist. We will be taking you through the important messaging channels banking institutions should consider to communicate with their customers. When considering these channels, security is of the utmost importance both of the channel and the provider you use to access those channels. As a tier one aggregator, for example, we have direct connections to mobile networks and channels that other providers cannot. Now I'm gonna turn you over to David Kreese Benjamin, DCB, to take you through what this means for banks and what future messaging channels you should consider as you're looking through your messaging strategy. Thanks for that introduction, Paula. Um, and hello, everybody. Um, I am going to talk to you about the channels that I think you should be considering if you're not already um, as part of your messaging strategy for your bank. Um, working in uh, banking and financial services, you find yourself in a very unique position. Normally, when I have this conversation with customers, I have to talk about how little customers keep an app on your phone. Uh, banking is one of the few exceptions where people keep your app, and the open banking standards have only contributed more to that. So a push notification first strategy makes much more sense for a bank. Your customers are more likely to download that app, more likely to keep it on their phone, and they're more likely to interact with it on a regular basis. Having push notifications gives you a great way to reach out to their devices, meet your regulatory requirements, and more importantly, get the customer into a secure environment behind the biometrics on their device so that you can share any information that they won't want. So as well as the kind of notifications that you see on the screen, which I'm sure you've all seen from different applications, what you can do is you can launch a full chat service within your app. So you can drive a notification with a simple interaction for fraud, was this payment you, yes, no. And if it's a no, you can take them into the app, pass the biometrics, and have a completely open conversation with an authenticated, an identified customer. So a push notification first strategy is a huge plus for a bank. The WebEx Connect platform comes with the SDKs that you need to install messaging, both notification and chat within your app, and give you a rich set of features that you would see on some of the OTT channels that we're gonna go on and discuss. But unless you're a digital challenger bank that started out as app only, um, it's very unlikely that all your customers are going to be on your app. There'll be a large proportion that don't have it. And there are also messages that perhaps aren't suitable for going in an in-app, such as logging in. So the one-time pins that you might share currently, I'm guessing, by SMS. SMS, we need to talk about. It's a terrific channel. Everybody has it. Every mobile device in the world has it. It's been around for 30 years. And you can reach your customers with important notifications and they are going to get read. The latest statistic is 55% of text messages are read within three minutes. And it is a fantastic channel. And it will be there as your base level channel throughout. And as Paul alluded to, being with a tier one aggregator such as us means that your traffic is sent directly from your platform directly to the mobile network. But this is more a familiar story with SMS. And certainly public perception of SMS is changing. How do you know that an SMS is genuinely coming from your bank or indeed your delivery company or any other company? I'm going to tell you all of those ones on the screen are fake. They've all been sent to genuine customers, but they're not real messages. Now, a tier one aggregator such as ourselves works with the mobile networks to block this from happening. And there's a code of conduct in the UK, which we have helped to write. There's the 10 DLC legislation in the US, and there are other initiatives around the world that are aimed at keeping SMS safe and secure. The fraudsters will still try. And in some circumstances, they will still get through. So what can you do about it? Well, we think the best first step is this. Our branded text product will take your existing SMS stream and deliver it to your customer's device from a secure endpoint. As you can see, the difference between the SMS on the left and the branded text message on the right is not just the security. Your brand will appear. 
you will get to put your um, description underneath your logo. And most importantly, perhaps it will arrive with a blue tick. Blue tick is the new green padlock. So you look for a green padlock when you go to put your credit card details into a website. You now look for a tick when someone sends you a message on an OTT channel to know that it's them that's talking to you. Where we have launched this and we talk to customers that are receiving it, an overwhelming amount, 90% plus, come back and say, I trust that more. And what that drives is better engagement. So if you're sending a notification with a call to action, you will immediately get an uplift in engagement. We've delivered this particular version on a channel called RCS, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. But this is designed for Android. It's going to take over from SMS on Android devices. So you will still be able to reach out with the customer's phone number and deliver this experience. It will give you greater security because it is a data-driven channel. So it is encrypted from your platform down to the customer's phone. You will appear as verified when the customer clicks on it. It will be their mobile network, someone that they trust who's verified it's you as a business. And of course, it will arrive with your branding, which means that you get to control how your message appears. And that's the first step. We talk about a lot in these videos about how you can have a full conversation and the move towards e-commerce and being able to chat and drive conversation. Well, this is the way that you step from an SMS experience where you send a notification into a branded text conversation with a link so still the same link to click. And then the next step is to just change that link for a button, which the WebEx Connect platform can do. Each step will give you greater engagement, greater trust, and more customers interacting with you. And it gives you a, a pathway to get to a full two-way conversation across the RCS channel. So what other channels do you need to consider as a bank? Well, for my money, these are the things that you need to consider when thinking how do I move my SMS into a more secure environment? The channels we talk about are Apple Messages for Business. That is the direct channel into the inbox on an iPhone. It's a little bit more complicated to launch than for RCS, but WebEx Connect can do that for you and can open up conversation as well as notification. Google Business Message give customers places to find you, but again, the levels of security that you're looking for. RCS, as I've shown you, gives you the logo, gives you the verification that's directly replacing the SMS. The last channel on this list is WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a highly secure channel. It's fully encrypted from end to end, and Meta will never see the content of the messages that you're sending. Now in the US, that's about 30% of your um, customer base will have WhatsApp. In Europe, that'll be considerably higher. But the question I'm always asked in Europe is, does the data leave the um, European Union and go to the US? And the honest answer is yes but it leaves the European Union to route through Meta's servers to be able to know where to go. So the data that leaves is that business A has talked to telephone number B. That is it. Nothing is stored outside of the European Union. But if that's still not good enough for your security standards, and I do understand, um, WhatsApp have recognized that. As a premium partner, we know um, and have some visibility of the roadmap of items they're bringing on. And one of the key ones for later on this year is that there will be localized routing information and localized storage. So that element will disappear. And with WhatsApp being the most popular OTT channel in the world, and certain European countries, more than 90% of the public having it on there, it is absolutely a channel to consider to open up for secure notification and indeed for full two-way delivery to get the best customer experience. So to summarize, as a bank, you're in a unique position your customers will have your app. The ones that have it will keep it. So drive a push first strategy, to be able to deliver any message behind the biometrics. But everything else, start moving towards the rich channels as we've laid out. They give you greater security, they give you branding, they give you verification. And of course they open up the world of two-way chat, which is what your customers want to drive the best customer experience across any channel they choose to contact you on. DCB, thank you so much for taking us through all of those channels. It's clear that the banking industry is a bit different in terms of the channels that they should use and for good reason. I had a few questions though that we have and maybe you could answer for some of our banking customers who are watching this. Take us through a little bit about what's different for channels um, 
for for our banking customers? No problem at all. I mean, the banking industry and financial industry in general is more heavily regulated than most others. So actually the, the amount of effort that you need to put in to being able to provide a secure channel is much higher. You know, banks have invested in encrypted email, invested in um, voice over IP, and indeed have invested in um, apps directly on the customer's phone. Um, in that consideration, you put every all your important things. The customer can't get at it without going through a fairly intense identification procedure and indeed biometrics. So you need to consider as you want to expand your messaging world, which you, your customers need you to do, they want you to do. And we've seen that because digital challenger banks have opened up these channels and have had great success. You need to consider how customers' information is kept secure. So by working with a tier one aggregation partner and a, um, a leading CPAC provider, you've gone the major step of the way. Using WebEx Connect, we have direct partnerships with Apple, with Meta, with Google, so that we know and get early access to roadmaps and information so that we can connect to those channels in the right way. And we can bring the security information to you so that you can have the reassurance that your message is going to get through. Even with SMS, we're in a fairly unique position that we have direct connections to mobile networks that other people simply don't have. And we have coverage, um, particularly in North America, for example, all of the American networks, all of the Canadian networks in one place. So it's direct from us to them. There's nobody to interfere with in between. As you start to consider the other channels, you've got to consider where your customers are, um, which is a more traditional answer for me. Um, how much of your customer base is on an iPhone versus an Android device? Now, some of that will be down to demographics, but the majority is defined by where you are. Uh, United Kingdom is 50-50. Um, so the next channels to really start considering are Apple and RCS. Um, Apple, because it's the best on iPhone. No two, no two ways around it. Apple designed for privacy right from scratch. Um, with RCS, the UK mobile networks are probably one of the leaders in the world about getting together and delivering that channel to replace SMS. Um, the verification procedure you need to go through to, before you can even get on to send a message makes it immediately a more secure endpoint. I suppose the other thing to consider is we have to talk about fraud. We have to talk about SMS. Um, I expect everybody watching this has got pages on their website that tell their customers, this is how you spot a genuine SMS from us. Every bank I've ever spoken to has got one, so I imagine the entire audience do. Imagine how much simpler it would be if you turn around and say, this is how you spot a message from us. It has a tick, it has our logo, and it has our name. If it's not coming from that, it's not from us. Now, are we there right now? Maybe not. There'll be a small number of customers that can only get SMS, and that's fine. Use the right provider, keep it secure. But the sooner you move to these rich channels, the simpler that conversation with your customers become. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's it's so true. They need to know who their customer base are. They need to understand where they are and mm -hmm. how that flows into their current or future messaging strategy. All of those three so, items will kind of determine which channels they should start with first or that they should consider it won't be one size fits all for everything or everyone no. no not at all but i suppose the thing that i always consider for any uh banking institution financial or indeed any enterprise what is the thing that makes the customer choose you you know banking is a heavily competitive industry and it's easier than ever now to switch certainly in the united kingdom we have something with an account switch guarantee. So you can be gone and everything moves on your behalf. I think it's in less than seven days. And when we go out and we talk to customers, what's the thing that stops you doing it or what's the thing that makes you do it? Customer experience is virtually always top of the list. And it only takes really one bad experience for a customer to leave you. So when you open up the new channels, recognize your customer, personalize the conversation, and give them the best experience of talking to your best agent over the channel of their choice. That is the thing that will stop them from leaving. Once you've got that experience, 
and you build the level of trust, you can open up the services across all of these channels, whether it's your app, whether the customer chooses an OTT channel. It is the experience that counts. And I suppose what WebEx Connect gives you is it gives you the opportunity to design the conversation, design the experience, and leave the channel to the customer. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have one last question for you, DCB. Um, the challenger banks, you mentioned them um, just before. What are they doing? Well, first, who are they? What would you consider a challenger bank? And secondly, what are they doing that's proving successful both in the messaging arena and also just customer experience in general? So the challenger banks find themselves in a really strong position because they're starting from scratch. So we'd look at um, the likes of Monzo, uh, Starling, um, Revolut, they're digital only for a start, which means that to become a customer, you have to download their app. There's no other way to do it. Their, yep. their internal systems are built from scratch. So they are choosing the best in-class software from today. Whereas if you have a, a more traditional bank, one with a greater history, and perhaps you know, long, much longer standing, they will have systems from years and years of development. Um, may feel slightly segregated internally. So you'll have credit cards, you might have insurance, you might have personal banking, but they might all be on their own core systems and they're all separate. Um, and those systems may not talk to each other very well. Um, so what you'll find is when you contact them, if you contact them one, about one particular product, they'll pass you to somebody else to talk about another one. Who might pass you to another to talk to another one. One of the things about bringing in digital channels, the way that we recommend, is you have to back that up with customer knowledge. And so what WebEx Connect is designed to do is it will plug in to all of those old systems. I mean, one of our best examples, we have a customer that sends us 10 million requests for messaging alerts that have to go out every morning. Um, and they come from an absolute multitude of sources. And because those systems can't necessarily talk to each other or certainly can't do it quickly, you send us everything. WebEx Connect then runs rules that the bank have defined to know which one is the most important. So is DCB in his overdraft or is he being offered a new credit card or a loan? Which one of those messages is more important? And so we can take those requests and make the decision for them outside of the system and then feed it back into all those source points. So what it allows banks to do is to try and catch up with those digital challenges. They're built from the ground up, so their systems all talk. We get to we get to help you catch up so that you can still provide that cutting edge digital experience and then tap into your existing systems to make sure that your single customer view is the right information for when someone calls, you go, ah, that's Paula. She has X, Y, and Z product. She's come through from this endpoint, which means she is likely to want this. So let's start the conversation in the right place. That's the advantage that digitals have. Traditional banks can absolutely catch up with the right software. WebEx One is uh, so WebEx Connect is the right software. May I say that challenger banks sound like the Gen Z of the banking industry? They have. They have been birthed and have grown up in the digital age. <laughs> so they are embracing probably all of the the channels and such that allow them to be at the forefront. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's great. That's great. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, DCB. This has been super educational. Um, and thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope that you continue to watch um, the remaining videos in this series to learn more about how WebEx Connect can help you and your banking institution uh, message your customers in the most efficient and effective way. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.